Welcome to Road to Detailing, my name is Victor and last October I requested Peter to film in his detailing bay because I wanted him to show us more about an average day of a car detailer, more in depth, his professional work, technique and product preferences, as well as talk about his shop and take a garage tour, so I was very happy when he said yes and now here I am. When I arrived he had this new 2021 Skoda Kodiak waited to be finished with ceramic coating while his next job, a 2015 Volkswagen Golf R was already in the wash bay waiting to be prepared for a full detail as well. Peter is a professional car detailer, also the business owner of OCD Detailing, but that's enough me talking about him. Peter, what should the audience know about you? I started the car care, I wouldn't call it detailing at the start as you know to be doing details you need to have experience so i started in 2010 the first uh, thing i started was mobile valeting uh, i lasted at that for a year and then i built up a little shed beside my house uh, so I, I stopped doing mobile valets and i was working in that place there so uh, currently like i'm 11 years in the game thank you peter and where do you start today at the moment we are in my wash bay i have indoor wash bay which is very handy as you see yourself, there's rain outside yes. <laughs> and we can work away. The car arrived like that, so you see it's dirty. Uh, for now, I'm going to spray it with Vasco. Then we'll come back in two hours and we'll do the decontamination process then. Yeah? Well, if you wonder what Vasco Privash is, I would say it's a fairly unique product on the market and Peter often said that it's a game changer for him. Nonetheless, Vasco is a touchless tar remover which can be applied right away at the Privash stage of the detailing process. As you can see, the application is very easy. Simply spray it on the car with a thin layer and aim to achieve a good coverage from the wheels up to the door handles while paying more attention to the lower parts of the car. There is really no need to worry where it goes as Vasco is safe to use on almost all surfaces. A top tip, you can use Vasco with a Quasar pump sprayer which will help spraying the product much easier. Now let Vasco do its job and go back in the garage where we have another car to work on. So this morning I'll be applying ceramic coating on this uh, Skoda Kodiak, it's 2021 car, arrived for protection detail, there was a bit of correction required so we have that already done, now we have to just do the coating, finish off the inside and the car will be ready to go tomorrow. So now I'm going to apply uh, ceramic coating. Uh, my favorite coating is Aqua 9H. It's a self-healing coating with about two year durability. Uh, the car is already prepped fully. So like we have the outside of the wheels coated with Aqua wheel coating. We have the glass coated with Aqua glass protection, trims and rubbers dressed with uh, Aqua dressing for tires and for plastics. So this is the last touch to the car. Uh, ceramic coating. When I do coatings, especially if I start with, if, if I'm using new coating, I usually start with small, small panel because then I can read the flash time with that coating. And also, sometimes the uh, application changes due to humidity and temperature. So if we start with small panel, we can actually re read how long it takes to for the flash. So I'll give it a go. For wiping off the coating, uh, I use short pile microfiber cloths, about 350 grams. I find them perfect for, for this purpose. So the first thing what I do is level the coating. Now I'm doing final buff, final polishing to finish off the coating. And I just want to check for the promise tricks or... The basic principle of applying ceramic coating seems very easy on the first look. But there is so much more involved in this process which called experience, that comes by time 
and practice. However, to my eyes, watching a piece of block flawlessly gliding over on the paintwork is really satisfying and giving me a feeling that I also want to do it. Hopefully one day. Until then, enjoy these clips. Once the last panels have been finished, checked and buffed up properly, let's take a quick look on them. And while we were moving in and out of the bay, that huge wallpaper with different cars couldn't let my mind rest, so I asked Peter to tell me more about his hardest work out of the many. As far as I remember, this car was the most difficult car to deal with. Uh, the reason of that was that uh, that's like eight, nine years ago. Uh, that time, dual action polishers weren't, too, weren't on the market really. Uh, so I had to do it with the Rotary polisher. That car had solid black paint and like every detailer knows that the solid black paints are hard and especially on Japanese cars. Uh, so at the time I didn't have enough experience to deal with. That's why I think I remember this car as a, the biggest nightmare ever. And what is the most unique car you have worked with? Like I had lots of, let's say like German cars in Ireland are quite popular. Well, Japanese as well, but there, there's, there are some unique cars. And I would point the Japanese cars like uh, this Toyota Corolla would be very unique. There's not too many of them around anymore. And uh, recently I had Sorer, which I, I think there's only five in the country. So I think they're rare cars. As Peter once said during the day, time is the worst enemy with this job. So move on with the Volkswagen Golf R, where Vosco Privash has been doing its job for at around two hours. When Vosco dissolved all tar deposits, the next step is using the power of the pressured water to rinse them off by slow and steady movement. This kind of approach is very important, because even though tar spots has been dissolved, they are still heavy contaminants. Other than that, once the water hits Vosco on the panels, it neutralizes that at the same time. That's what you can see when the color turns white. So moving from bottom to top makes the whole work easy and more efficient, while offers you a better control and helps to prevent missing spots. With this two-in-one method, we had a total pre-wash on the wheels and paintwork, as well as ticked another checkbox from the decontamination stage. 
Now, Peter continues with the sword of second prevosh, where the biggest focus is on the wheels, arches, and all rubber components around the car. He does this all with a very interesting approach, started with spraying Autopia wheel bright, an acid-free wheel cleaner, onto the wheel walls and barrels, then it followed up using ADBS tire and rubber cleaner on the tire walls as well as on all other rubber parts around. This stuff is one of the best rubber cleaner on the market in my personal opinion. The cleaner reacts right away on the surface without need of an agitation, which by the way I'm a big fan of, but more importantly, deeply penetrate into the surface that does an excellent job by dissolving dirt. After these chemicals have been applied, the car will be covered with an alkaline active snow foam also from ADBL that helps to let the wheel and rubber cleaners dwell much longer and dissolve any dirt being left on the roof and upper part of the car where we haven't done a prewash just yet. While this white blanket slowly falling down, the agitation take place where you can see the real advantage of ADBS tire and rubber cleaner. And finally, Squally from Workstop will help us and give the wheelbarrows a good scrub before rinsing off the car. So once the chemicals have been allowed to do their job and the car received the deep pre-wash on all areas as well, it's time to rinse them off, then move on with the contact wash, then finish the whole preparation process with the remaining decontamination. The choice of shampoo is ADBL Tenji, which has an acidic reaction and a lower than neutral pH level in its undiluted form. Tenji is able to provide a deep clean for paintworks either with or without protection applied while being completely safe on ceramic coatings, waxes and sealants. In this stage, the Volkswagen has no protection applied, so obviously we don't really interested about that part in this particular case. However, this delicate formula ensures a deep cleaning on the surface while aims to remove water spots on a certain degree and that is one of the biggest advantage of using ADBL Tenji. All in all, a pleasant to use pure shampoo that provides enough lubricity, suds and power also has a nice added fix scent and can be a great choice in the long run. As detour has been done at the beginning, we only have deironizing left, which is pretty much a straightforward process at the chemical stage. ADBL's Vampire Light is a liquid kind iron and fallout remover, but ADBL offers two other kinds in this category, and if you want to learn more about them, Peter has excellent videos on his YouTube channel in this subject, beside many other valuable videos, so make sure to check them out. After a few minutes of dwelling time, not too much of a purple reaction happens, which is always a good thing, as it shows the surface nearly free from iron contaminants. Agitating the surface further can help to remove dissolved particles, which then being rinsed off, same as every time after used any chemicals. The following question often comes by enthusiasts like me, clay bar, mitt or clot. 
From Peter I know, it always depends on the current job. In this case, the paintwork is quite smooth at this stage, so the claim it would be the fastest way, hence little to none contaminants left behind, also it would cause the least marring in this scenario. However, if the car would have overspray, a clay bar would be more effective by removing that quicker, hence the slightly different material. Of course there are many other pros and cons to each of them, like the mitt is reusable in case you accidentally drop it on the ground, but for example the clay bar fits better in smaller areas. This list would go further and further, but the usage style is very similar, let it soak in warm water to soften the material, use proper lubricant on the surface and apply zero to none pressure by your hands. We have seen many products that Peter prefers to use during his work, even though he has one of the biggest reseller shop here in Ireland. Uh, well, we're not the smallest one, that's for sure. I wouldn't claim the biggest one as well, because there are places that they have more stock, more brands. But like, we have a nice selection of products here. The idea of the shop appeared like five years ago. Like people, my customers, they were asking what to use for their cars, and like that time, there was no place around here where they could get any decent stuff. So I started with ADBL, which I use so far and like very happy with the brand. Since then, like we, we got good few more brands. Like we have a range of polishing pads from a company called Nat. Uh, we are the main distributor in Ireland for them as well. Uh, like the pads are very good quality. Uh, they have long durability. Uh, there is some guys that they, they love, love those pads as well in Ireland. Uh, Maybe we don't do too. Maybe we don't do enough marketing about the every single brand, but like the brand will find the, their users and the users are very happy. We have Color Range. Like these days, the Color is well known brand in Ireland. So we have cleaners. We have some solvent cleaners, products for leather restoration uh, and leather care. And obviously, well known. Soft 99, you have a nice range of the Soft 99. And here we have a couple of shelves of uh, ADBL products. The range is huge at the moment. The, the brand started in 2014 with one product, which is the uh, Vampire. It's a gel jelly follow remover. And the product hit the market at that time in Poland and people loved it and since then the, the brand grows up all the time. Here we have a range of compounds like Sonax, Menzerna, Zvizer, uh, Scholl. Basically there, uh, there is no the best compounds but like if we have nice selection in detailing bay we can achieve what we want with them. There is no one compound that will do everything but the choice gives us unlimited possibilities if you know what I mean. Then we also have a few other brands. They're maybe not too much known, but like down the line, they, they will get known because they're good brands as well. Like the Good Stuff, Work Stuff. Work Stuff is a worldwide known brand for accessories. We also have FX Protect now. We had a bit of stock before, but like now we have the full range of it. They do what they say on the label. If there is a new brand that I'm interested in, like the brand has to have good reputation. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't really have it here. We brought to the market the Vasco pre-wash, Brider One. We introduced the products in, in this country. Here we have two shelves with ceramic coatings. So we have aqua coatings, FX Protect coatings, and we have a nice selection of G Technic products as well. And we have Autopia, Built Humber, Lab Cosmetica, and a few other products that they're only kind of single products that we picked for our shop. Best selling product, like I would have to point the Vasco pre wash because this is definitely our best seller from the shop. Another one would be Or One Trim Restorer. And that's when it comes to single products. Obviously the ADBL is our main brand and the ADBL sells the best out of all of the brands we have here. After five hours of filming, I had to leave the day behind, but I showed up on the next morning and Peter was still working hard on the Volkswagen since then I left him. Let's see how things went so far. Now the car, as you've seen yourself, like it has a lot of swords, it's a 2015 car, so general maintenance like caused that, especially like if it's not looked after properly. The paint is hard on this car, so it needs heavy going over uh, with the paint. 
At this stage we are in a cutting process. This was only one stage performed. I uh, had to say la late last night as the I'm kind of this job is a little bit under pressure because the car has to be ready for wedding so it has to be corrected tomorrow. Overall it's going well due to due to uh, compounds uh, Pads, polishers, I use, I try to make it as uh, effective and as efficient as possible. So you see yourself, like we were only prepping the car yesterday, but like today I only have like uh, the door, half of the bonnet to be finished with cutting stage. And then I'm going to refine it. Just refine will be sort of minor job as the cutting stage performs so well that there is very little to, to be refined. Talking about compounds and pads, what combinations did you find work the best? For this job, I found the best combination uh, of Makita polisher. Ah, just not now. I have a customer there. While we were having a good chat, the customer of the Skoda Kodiak has also been arrived, so it is time to give the keys to a happy owner and say goodbye the car. Now, get back on track with the Volkswagen Golf R. So for this car, uh, my combination that I found the best is uh, Makita Polisher, uh, it's forced rotation uh, dual action. Uh, I have a pad from a company called NAT, uh, it's an open cell pad, it's very hard at the start. I'm going to let you to see after when I do the polishing, it gets softer, so this is the biggest feature of this pad. It helps to achieve nice finish within the cutting stage and I use this compound for, for this job, uh, Shoal S2 Black. Peter, you have many different expertise in detailing. Can you please tell us more about them? We also do leather restoration uh, and also for last uh, three years uh, I started to deliver courses uh, about machine polishing and two years ago I started to do leather restoration uh, courses uh, we use color lock system for leather restoration. Do people like me showing up in your detailing bay often? Yes, yes. We, we, uh, I get lads that they have no experience and they come to me for courses. Also have guys that they do it for a little while, they want to upgrade their skill. So uh, it's kind of all sorts of uh, courses we deliver from that perspective. And leather restoration, we also deliver courses that you could have no experience, but you'd be well able to do it after the course. Volkswagen Golf R still needs some work and time is very precious in this job as we know, so I would like to say huge thank you to Peter for making this video possible and I hope you all enjoy the time we have spent together in OCD detailing. Please help to show some love towards the video and hit the like button, it really means a lot and would also help to spread the content for more people on YouTube. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, take care and see you soon.